Vikes. I'm Carly Bond, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Some students in personal finance place first and second in the stock market game. Let's go learn more about it. This year, in Mrs. Mumford's personal finance class, she had four students place first and second in the Kansas stock market game. I caught up with Mrs. Mumford to ask her some questions about the game. So, the stock market game is something that we usually play in the personal finance class. Um, and it's a nationwide competition, um, but when we compete, we just compete with other students in the state of Kansas. The stock market game has been a fun activity for all of the personal finance students. Um, and I usually find that most students kind of enjoy being able to research their own stock and pick it and buy it with their virtual money and see what happens. This year, Seaman High School had two students place first place and two students placed second place. First place was Christian Soden and Trent Scheibest. And in second place, and, and they had, I should say, they had an account gain of $35,000. And then in second place was Aiden Potter and Jane Schwarzrock, and they had an account gain of $32,000. Congratulations to those four winners. Landon and Ebb caught up with students on their goals for 2021. I asked some students what their goals for 2021 were. Here's the result. A couple goals for 2021. First and foremost, graduate high school. That's every senior's goal. Second is probably to kind of make all of my friendships a little bit stronger because the, the friendships I have I want to keep for a majority like of college and probably the rest of my life. And third, um, it's one that every Christian wants to do every single year is just strengthen their relationship with our Creator. My major goal for 2021 is to start Washburn Tech because it's the beginning of my career. And a couple of smaller goals I have are to keep my grades up and to get in shape. My goal for 2021 is to improve in athletics. Hey y'all, my name is Patrick, and some of my goals for 2021 include graduating from Seaman High School, going on to Kansas State University in August to study agriculture economics, and meeting a whole lot of new people in college. Those are some pretty awesome goals for this upcoming year. Now, on to the daily announcements. The final Washburn Tech test at Seaman High School will be on January 20th at 12.30 p.m. If you are interested in signing up, please email your counselor by Wednesday, January 13th to let them know. January 14th and January 15th are the start of second semester. We will still be remote only. On Tuesday, January 19th, we will go back to hybrid learning with Group A students at the school. Quinn and Allie have some tips for going back to hybrid learning. With us going back to hybrid on the 19th, we want you to make sure to sleep well, eat healthy, don't procrastinate, and make sure to start the new semester on a good note. Next up for the wrestling team is a meet at Emporia High on Tuesday. It begins at 4 p.m. Spectators will not be allowed. Landon and Ebb caught up with some of the swim athletes to see what they were looking forward to in the rest of their season. The boys' swim team still has a long season ahead of them. I asked some of them to see what they were looking forward to most. Let's go check it out. I'm really excited for the upcoming meets. I have a lot of fun swimming and watching all the guys improve. If we just keep hitting practices like we are right now, we should all we should do is improve and keep getting better. I'm excited for city, league, and state and watching everybody progress. This is my final year, so hopefully I do good and all my teammates do. We're having great practices, we're working hard, and I'm proud of everybody. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh state and competing at state, hopefully a place. I'm more looking forward to knowing what we're gonna swim pretty much every meet because in December that it was more of a put people in events, see what fits. And now in January, since we have our big meets coming up, that we have to 
make sure that we have people that can swim each event individually and then we have our people that we know are probably going to qualify for state going into the events that they can actually qualify for state in. One thing I'm probably looking forward to the most with the rest of the swim year is going to more meets with the team and uh, just spending more time, I guess, with the team. Let's wish the boys good luck as they finish their season strong. Coach Peterson will be meeting with and beginning a winter conditioning season for spring sports today, January 12th, after school. Meet at the south doors for a temperature check. Bring your own water bottle and come dressed to work out outside. Girls soccer conditioning will be starting in person on January 19th at the soccer field from 4 to 5 p.m. through February 26th. There will be a softball informational meeting regarding preseason conditioning on Tuesday, January 19th in the band room from 3.23 to 4.03 p.m. Now, on to weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We are going to be having these cloudy skies around for a while longer. Today is going to be another warm day with our temperatures being up in the mid-50s by this afternoon. For your SBTV 7-day forecast, we are going to have the 50s for the next couple of days before we drop clear back down to the 40s even touching the 30s and then we're going to level out up into the higher 40s area instead of the 50s. Now back to your anchors. That's all for today Vikes. Have a great day.